Hello and welcome, this is a video guide on how to boost FPS and optimize Riders Republic. I want to point out the guide will definitely be helpful for high-end systems, but it will boost mid-range and low-end gaming PC systems with much more effectiveness. This guide will not only show you how to boost the FPS, but it will also improve game quality and system performance. In turn, this should help fix any lag or FPS drops or stutters that that you could be experiencing when playing Riders Republic. So let's go through a few simple steps that show the best settings to apply in Windows as well as in game and also a few recommendations along the way. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's go over the best Windows 10 PC settings step by step. Step 1. Clean out your shader cache. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This basically cleanses and resets your stored shaders, which are basically tones and textures that your installed games save. Every time there's a new update, more are added on. Shader compiling can cause crashes, stutters, freezes, and even overheating in some cases. It uses extra memory too. Resetting your shader cache should always be the first thing you do before installing a new game. Or when a new update comes along. Now there's a link in the description for a video that will show you two simple ways on how to easily clean and reset your shader cache. Step 2. To ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise that you switch off every overlay and background application while you play. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuner, and any others that could affect the performance while you game. This is mostly for players with low end gaming systems that need all the power they can get, basically. To turn the Steam overlay off, just head into the Steam setting menu, click in-game and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in-game. To turn off the NVIDIA GeForce overlay, open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience, click on the settings icon, go to general and switch off the in-game overlay. For Xbox Game Bar, using the window search bar, type game mode settings and then click the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game Bar. And of course, set it off. Then you navigate back to the left and click on Captures, where you then need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. For Discord, all you need to do is open Settings and on the left select Overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says Enable In-Game Overlay. After you've done that, navigate to Advanced and make sure Hardware Acceleration is set to Off as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3. In the Windows search bar, type in Game Mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure Game Mode is set to On. For quite some time, there were issues with this particular setting, but Microsoft has now finally fixed it. So basically, if you're running the very latest version of Windows 10, make sure you turn Game Mode On. This will force all your PC resources on the game you're playing and suppresses any background activity from affecting your system while you game. Step number four. Navigate back to Windows search bar, type in graphics settings and click the icon. Now in here, you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This needs to be set to on. If it wasn't, you will need to restart your PC once you've turned it on. After you've done that, navigate down to graphics performance preference and you will want to add Riders Republic to your graphics performance list. To do this, you need to find your games directory and add the game's launch application to the list. You basically need to find where it is installed. So, to start the process, simply click Browse and navigate to your Epic Games folder. Then click on the Riders Republic folder, then find the application icon titled Riders Republic and simply add it to your graphics list. Finally, click on Options and then set it to High Performance, click Save and then you're done. Step 5. Go back to the Windows search bar once again, type in Power Plan and click Edit Power Plan. At the very top, click Power Options and under Preferred Plans, ensure high performance is selected. 
Step six, if you have multiple screens, I would advise to only have one screen on when you play. If you press the Windows key and P together, you will bring up a menu that lets you select which screens to have on. Step seven, background apps. Simply type settings into Windows search bar and click the icon, then select privacy. On the left menu, scroll down all the way until you see background apps. Then simply switch off, let apps run in the background. Okay, so now we're gonna dive into the game and we're gonna change a couple of things. So for window mode, of course, full screen is always the best setting for the best performance. Resolution should be your native resolution. My monitor is 1440p, so I will set mine to 1440. For refresh rate, you will want to cap it to your monitor's max refresh rate. Mine is 165 hertz, so obviously I cap it to 165 hertz. With VSync, you should set it to off if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync monitor. If you don't have that function with your monitor, then having V-Sync on or off is really down to you. If you have it on, it'll stop your screen from tearing, but you will have some input latency, which is very low, but could give you a disadvantage against your competition in multiplayer games. Setting it off will remove that input latency, but you might see some screen tearing. If you do set it off, then it is recommended that you cap the frame rate to no higher than 60 frames per second as that will help to minimize tearing. Pixel scale can be left at 100. The extended field of view or FOV can also be left at 100. But if you have a low end PC, then lowering it could definitely give you a boost to FPS. Basically, field of view relates to how much you can see at any given time on the screen. The higher the number, the more you can see around you, but also the harder your GPU is going to work. The FPS limit can be left to unlimited. HDR should be set to off and the overall quality, let's set it to custom. Shadow quality can be set to low and this will give you quite a nice boost to performance as it usually does. Terrain texture quality has a pretty huge impact on performance. I recommend going for low for a pretty nice boost to FPS and performance consistency. Grass quality can be set to medium. For reflections, I'd say low. Snow trail, either medium or low. Water quality, again, medium or low. Anti-aliasing should be okay on medium. Ambient occlusion should be on low. For anisotropic filtering, I'd say times four. And finally, for motion blur, I'd say switch it off, but it's really Really up to you on that one. Of course all these settings really depend on your PC so definitely play around and see what works best for you and your own system. I really hope this guide helps you in some way or another. If you do have any questions pop them in the comment section I will reply. Thank you all very much for watching. Goodbye.